One of the things you'll need to think about before you get an EV charge point installed at home is where do you put it? Choosing where to place your home EV charger is mostly common sense and personal preference, but it's something we will ask you to tell us during the online site survey stage if you get an installation quote from us. Before I run through some of the considerations you might want to think about with your charger location, did you know that 94% of our video viewers are not subscribed to the channel? That's right, only 6% of you are subscribed, which means the rest of you could be missing out on some really great content, if I say so myself. So click that subscribe button down below, which means you will see all our other videos. Right, let's take a look at those charger locations. Choosing where to locate your EV charge point at home isn't complicated and if you place it anywhere near where you park, then you've done 90% of the work. But there are a few things to think about. First things first, make sure you have a good signal. In order to tell your car when to charge, EV chargers need to communicate with your smartphone app or smart device in some form or another. Most products do this through Wi-Fi, where the charge point is connected with your home Wi-Fi, which in turn communicates with the charging app. Then, when you set up a schedule or make a change in the charging app, this is communicated back through your Wi-Fi and home internet connection to your charger, which in turn will communicate with your vehicle when it's plugged in. So, it's really important to make sure you have a strong Wi-Fi signal at the location where you want your charger. In other words, you don't want to locate the charger too far away from your home Wi-Fi, otherwise it won't be able to connect and many of the charging functions may not work. Some chargers, like the OMI, use a mobile signal instead of Wi-Fi. If you're interested in the OMI or a product that uses a mobile signal instead of Wi-Fi, then simply make sure you have a strong mobile signal in the desired charger location. Think about where you park. Where will you physically leave your car during the day or night? That's pretty much where you're going to want your charge point. But don't only think about where you park right now. Think about where the car will be charging most of the time and what will be most convenient for you. Will it be in a different place to charge overnight, for instance? You'll also want to check where the charging port is located on your car. This may be at the front, rear or side of the vehicle, so have a look and check if that will affect where you have your charger installed. It might even mean you need to park slightly differently. For example, if the charging port is located at the rear and you drive in forwards, then you'll need to think about whether the charging cable will physically reach from the charging port on the car to your charger. Make sure you think about charging cable length. Aside from where you physically park, Cable length is one of the biggest determining factors when it comes to choosing the installation point for the charger. So make sure you think about the length of the charging cable that either comes with the charger, if it's tethered, or if you're going for a socket only charger, then check how long your own charging cable is as it won't be supplied with the socket only product. This is why it's so important to think about where you park the car for charging and also where the charge port on the vehicle is. The charging cables that come attached to tethered chargers are usually five meters long. You can get some which are longer, but that's usually at an additional cost. The simplest thing to do here is measure the length of the charging cable from where you want the charger installing to where the charge port would be on the vehicle. If you want to be able to park your car however you like, without a care in the world and not needing to wonder 
whether the charging cable will actually reach, then a socket only charger may be a good option for you. Sure, it's not quite as convenient as a tethered unit because you need to plug in both ends of the cable, but what you lose in convenience, you gain in flexibility. In other words, you can buy a longer charging cable to suit your needs. You can find plenty of these online, ranging in length from 5 meters, 10 meters, and 15 meters or more. Now, this will be a separate purchase as untethered units do not come with their own charging cables, but if you get the cable length you want and the right result with your charger location, then that's the main thing. Also, have a think about what your charger looks like and whether you're bothered if people can see it or not. This is probably the least important consideration, but still a factor, as some people prefer their charger to be out of view. But keep in mind all the other points we've discussed, such as where you park and where the charge port is on your car, as you might need to compromise on some of these elements. And finally, check that the charging cable will not trip anyone up. It seems ridiculous to say, but even if you have your own private driveway, it can be difficult to see a dark charging cable at night. And don't forget, you might know it's plugged in, but other household members might not. Or you may have visitors who won't know to look down and keep an eye out for a charging cable. Ideally, the cable will run nicely along the floor rather than being stretched and hoisted in the air. We don't want any accidents. That's about all you need to think about when choosing the charger location. It isn't complicated and as I said earlier, it's mostly common sense, but do give it some thought before you complete your online site survey with us or get an installation. I hope that's been helpful. Let me know if there are any other things to think about when choosing where your charger should go. And if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, see you next time.